Hello, my name is Chuck Lawson with Bentley Systems and today I'm going to show you how to transfer information from one workspace to another. We're going to utilize the examples workspace delivered with the product. I'm using Power Geopack, but this is applicable to En-ROADS or MX as well. We have the examples workspace that was originally delivered with SS4 and then we have the updated workspace that was delivered with SS4 update 1 and we're going to copy over everything to do with rail. So to start with we're going to be working in an untitled workspace and we're going to bring across the new levels that were introduced in this updated release. And so if I come over to open up that DGN library that holds our levels feature definitions imperial.dgnlib. Open that in the entitled workspace so it's not actually loaded. We will proceed over to our level manager levels import and you'll notice we have our current number is 481 so we'll import levels from our updated dgnlib so we'll navigate down to the updated workspace Bentley Civil Imperial dgnlib and we'll select that same file which is newer and if we scroll all the way down to the bottom it's going to understand the order at which new levels were added if you don't sort by name and so you will see all of the rail names listed there uh, at the bottom of the list even though they're not alphabetically ordered and so if I don't want to import everything I can clear the selection and just select the new ones at the bottom using my shift key and my mouse so we say OK, and then you'll see that we ultimately added additional levels to this level library. And I'm also making sure not to have on the automatically save design changes, so if I make a mistake, I can always just exit and come back in. So I'll make save, save those changes. And the next thing we're going to take a look at is element templates. We'll navigate back to, in the examples workspace environment structure, our updated workspace. This time we want to go to the updated DGN library because we're going to export out the element templates from the updated DGN library. So we'll proceed to element templates, export to XML, generate this file. We can give it a name and a location to place it. And I'm going to put it back into my regular DGNlib folder structure, not the updated one. And we'll say OK. And that'll create this XML input file for element templates. Then we're going to proceed to open the DGNlib that we want to bring those element templates into. So we'll go back to our current workspace, not the updated one. And we'll open up that file. And again, we've already brought in our levels. Now we're going to bring in our element templates. So we select File Import XML. We choose that XML file we created. Just to show you the navigation. We select OK. And it's not going to overwrite anything. It'll give everything in appendices of the number one. And so I know in, in these updates there are element templates in the linear folder, the 3D linear folder, and the components folder all dealing with rail and so you'll see that the rail does not exist where we're coming over to in our current file but it does exist in the updated file and so if we go down to the updated folder structure you'll see the element templates there for rail and so we'll select those using their shift and mouse right click copy and then we'll go back over to our master folder our current folder and then right click paste by the way, once those are pasted, I can right click on that folder header and select sort children and that'll alphabetize the element templates. So you see that those are now alphabetically in order in our current working DGN library. Then we'll proceed then also to do after the linear category, we have the same ones to duplicate for our 3D linear folder structure. So we'll paste those in and then we'll sort children again on that folder structure and then lastly we will have to add the components that were added in uh, for the rail and so we'll go down to our components folder 
select the rail components, copy those, and paste those into the active components folder. And then sort those. And then lastly, once we have those copied across, everything that was imported from that XML with the one at the suffix of the folder name, we can just select them all and delete them. And so now we have those element templates brought in, and then we'll do one last sort. And that brings forth in our element templates. The next thing we want to take a look at is bringing in our features. Our feature definitions are a little bit tricky. We have to go into the PCF file that loads our configuration and make a copy where we're including that in the civil content management folder. And I want to give the updated DGN lib a new name. It can't be the same name. And so if I come over to a folder manager or file manager here, I'm going to give it a dash new. If I do a shift right click on that, it'll copy the path and file name to the clipboard. And then I'm going to come in and paste that in here. Um, but when you do paste it, you do have to get rid of the double quotes it puts around that path. And so now when we come in here, you'll see that additional uh, DGN library that is accessible as a reference. And you'll see then the rail entries for our features. And so we have to manually create the folder. You cannot copy and paste a folder. Uh, so you'll see the rail folder down there referenced in, but there's no copy option. And so we'll go back up to our linear folder in our active DGN lib, and we'll create a new category, duplicating it. We'll call it rail. And then I'll come down to my features that I want to bring forth, and I'll select the first one, use my shift key, select my last one, right click. I can copy the individual ones within a folder, so right click paste, and then that'll paste those linear features into that folder structure. Then we want to repeat that same process for components. So under the components folder in the active DGN lib, our working DGN lib if you will, uh, we would want to also then make a folder called rail. So we'll right click, select new category, type in rail, and then under our components in our new DGN library, we'll go grab those new surface features, right click copy, and then right click paste and that will bring those forward. And you'll see that the properties there will be pointing to those element templates that we imported in the previous exercise. Make sure to get rid of adding that variable to your startup configuration, so delete that back out. That's important. We'll save those changes. Next thing we want to take a look at is train model filters. Those have been added in, and so uh, again, I'm going to give that DGN lib a dash new name. I'll do a shift right click. Again, copy as path. That puts that path and file name in the clipboard. I need to go back to that variable, which is shown here, and I'm going to make a duplicate of that line, and then we're going to paste in that new path and folder name, or, or folder name and file name. So I'll clean this one out. We'll paste in the new one and then get rid of the quotes that the uh, right click shift copy to path uh, puts in there. So we'll get rid of those double quotes. We'll save that configuration change, come back into our product, and now we're going to have under our train filters a dash new option in there as well. The way that you copy filters in group, filter groups, is a little bit different. You cannot m select multiple ones, uh, so you have to do them one at a time. But all you do is, you'll see that we don't have the rail entries in there yet. We've also done some stuff with road. You just right click on them one at a time, copy to active model, those that don't exist, and you'll see it brings those forward. So we'll get those in there. And then we have the ones down at the bottom here for rail. And then lastly, we have the filter groups that were added in this latest release. So we'll right-click on the filter group. Same process. You'll see that those were added in. And 
that completes that exercise. Don't forget to take out the variable that you added in to get access to those. Next thing we want to take a look at is updating our function keys. There was a function key change in these updated workspace for the F10 key. So I'm going to go open up the newer function key preference file. So we'll go over to the updated workspace folder structure and we'll go down to the preferences and you'll see the file there. It's the F10 key. I'm going to select that, grab that new command, and I'm going to copy that to the clipboard. That text and then we'll go back and open up the older function key menu file. We'll go back to the F10 key, paste that in there, and then you'll need to press enter for it to accept the change and then save those changes. The next thing we want to take a look at are updating the Project Explorer link sets. Make sure you're in an untitled workspace for this. Open up the link sets file that you want to copy the information into. So it would be like your active one that you want to work with. In Project Explorer links, you want to hit the magnifying glass over to the right and select the import link sets. Go pick the updated DGN lib. So I'll navigate to that. Make sure you change your filter to all file types. I want to copy in this Bentley Civil Examples workspace entry and so you'll see now that that's added in. Notice that I had the active file selected there too, that's very important. And you'll see now we have the access to these new entries that were added in. The last thing we want to take a look at is bringing forth the roadway templates, in this case rail templates. So we'll go to our template editor and go to template library organizer and we want to navigate to our new template library. So in our updated workspace, Bentley Civil Imperial, data, template library, and under the templates there's a new folder for rail and we want to put that same folder structure in our current active template library. It's just a matter of dragging and dropping. So now that folder structure is in there, we'll select OK, save those changes, and now we have access to all of the rail templates which take advantage of all of the features that we brought in in the previous exercises.